welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. The UK team that is leading the Bloodhound Supersonic Car Project has had to revise the project schedule. Irma Fenter provides us with an update on the project. Hi Irma. Hi Chanel. What is the Bloodhound Project and why is it important? Well, the Bloodhound Project will try and set a new world land speed record. Um, so, I mean, that in itself is quite a thrill to imagine a car going that fast. Uh, the current record was set in 1997 at, uh, and it's at 1,227 kilometers an hour. So that's quite fast. And I think it's important, as the Bloodhound team will tell you, because it, it, they hope to um, get a new surge of interest in maths and science. So they're very worried in the UK, for example, that there are not enough kids being interested in maths and science. So part of the project, a big part of the project, is just to boost that interest in, in what they call the STEM subjects, you know, the science and technology and maths, and just to get people interested in that again, for kids to study that again, and to boost that then ultimately through to tertiary level. So um, it's not just about a thrill of a new land speed record, but also about boosting the education. How have the timelines been revised? Well, we expected the car in South Africa this year because, the, the, of course, the fun part for us in South Africa is that the um, attempt will take place on a place called Haxken Pan in the Northern Cape. So uh, we expected the car in South Africa this year, but um, there's been several delays in the project. Uh, for example, there have been problems with suppliers, and of course, funding is also a problem because there's no big corporate or consortium behind this. This is just a bunch of people really passionate about this. Um, for example, the pilot, uh, the, well, the pilot, he is a pilot, it's Andy Green, he's a Royal Air Force pilot, he will drive the vehicle and um, himself, he set the record in 1997 for the world current land speed record. Richard Noble is the project director and of course he's also been a previous land speed record holder. So there's no big corporate behind it, there's no big um, money spinner behind it, so they've had been trying to find um, funding and funding has been uh, coming in, in stops and starts and drips and drabs, so there's, there's a little bit of a problem, but it seems now that finally they said they've sorted it out and that they will finally come to South Africa now in 2019. The car will come in May, and then the world land speed record attempt will be made between October and November next year. How will the project team tackle the land speed record attempt once they're here in South Africa? There's quite a bit of a process behind it. So what we've got is that they'll bring the car here and slowly ramp up the car, um, the blood out in, in incremental um, speeds. So you won't start off at 1,228 kilometers an hour, for example. You'll start off slowly, you'll build it up, build it up, and then ultimately what they were aiming for would be a land speed record they said of 1,600 kilometers an hour, which is quite a, quite a, would be quite a feat. So we expect the, uh, um, the Bloodhound team to be on Hoxkin Pan for about six to eight months, it seems like. So um, yeah, it will be a lot of fun, I think, for the, uh, for the communities around Hoxkin Pan next year, especially the, uh, the, the children as well. They, of course, help to clear Hoxkin Pan from all the little stones that may obstruct the world record run for the Bloodhound. Thank you. That's the second tech show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.